Hi, so I'm here to talk to you about my current skincare routine. Um, in the past few weeks, I've been seeing on Snapchat, all my social media is below in case you want to follow me on Fitzmits and everything. Um, for the past few weeks, my skin has been so dehydrated. Now, on a normal day, my skin is pretty normal, but I just feel like my skin, it's not I feel like, I know my skin has been so dehydrated to the point that my skin is actually flaking and becoming dry. Now, there is a difference between dry skin and dehydrated skin. They're kind of both two different skin types, but they can be combined, obviously, because they're similar um that's kind of a whole other video there's so many videos out there going through different people people's skin types but my skin was so dehydrated and i just my makeup wasn't applying well like it's one thing your skin being dry and feeling uncomfortable but then applying your makeup it just doesn't apply and even when i was applying my foundation i could see like my skin was flaky and it's just terrible it's horrible having dehydrated or dry skin and um, so i feel for you those of you who do have it on a regular day um i think it was mostly due to me drinking lack of drinking water and also we have kind of plug-ins you know those plug-in heaters inside and work they just suck the moisture out of my skin so i've been just looking for so many products going through so many products trying to get something to suit me and at the moment my skin has cleared up there's so much more moisture in it so i want to share with you some of the products that have worked for me okay so i'll go through my skincare kind of step by step as i take off my makeup and then clean my face moisturize blah 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 so first step um we'll say is taking off my makeup I usually use a micellar water to remove my makeup then I wash my face. Instead of using micellar waters recently I've been using um, cream cleansers. In most micellar waters, I think maybe only the Bioderma one doesn't contain alcohol. Most of them do contain alcohol and it's safe alcohol but alcohol can, it does dry out your skin. So I've been kind of trying to stay away from micellar waters. So I've replaced them with cream cleansers or milk cleansers. I don't like using them as much. Micellar waters are just cleaner and faster and everything. I feel like these are a bit more, takes a bit more time but it does the same job. And I feel like using a milky creamy one obviously is much better than using one something with alcohol in it. So this is the one I've been using recently. This is by La Roche It's the makeup remover milk for a sensitive skin. There's a big loads of product in here. I've only gone through about a quarter of this. So you don't need that much. Um, you pump it out. It's a it feels like a cream. It's like a moisturizer. You apply it to your face. You mix it in and it removes your makeup, breaks down your makeup. Then you take it off with um, a cotton pad. So that's what I've been using to take off my makeup. It smells lovely. It's for sensitive skin, so it should suit a lot of people. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been actually really liking that. So that's what I've been using to take off my makeup. Okay, so next step, once my makeup, the first, my makeup is kind of off my face, I always, always cleanse. I never just use, I don't use wipes anymore, but I never just use micellar water or cleanser. I always do wash my face afterwards to properly cleanse my skin. And this is what I've been loving. It's the Lizarl Hot Cloth Cleanse and Polish. Is that what it's called? Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. L this has been just so hyped up on YouTube and when I first started using it I was expecting miracles because it, when products are so hyped up I want an immediate reaction but it's just kind of plain old face wash that cleans your skin. There's nothing major major about it but it just works wonderfully on dry skin and sensitive skin. In here there's rosemary, chamomile which is amazing for sensitive skin, cocoa butter and eucalyptus essential oils. There's loads of natural, lovely, high quality ingredients in here. Um, I got this set, th these are available online now. They weren't until kind of the last few years in Ireland, but they're available now on the Boots website. I think they're only available in the Boots Dublin stores at the moment. They're not in stores everywhere in Dublin, or in Ireland, sorry. Um, I bought the set, so it came in this little baggie with the cleanser and a muslin cloth. The muslin cloth's actually in my bathroom at the moment, it's actually wet. But you can buy muslin cloth separately. I was actually just talking to my sister yesterday about dehydrated skin. So great for watching. Here you go. It's the products that I was showing, telling you about. So this is um, what a muslin cloth looks like. Basically, it's just a cotton. It is a face cloth, but it's not like fleecy like a face cloth. It's just kind of plain old cotton sheet. Um, but because it's cotton, it's gentle on the skin. These were three or four euro, I think, for two of them. They're from the range Champneys. And I got them in boots. They're near kind of the shower what you call the shower ball things and the like empty containers and stuff like that that's where I found these um so that's a muslin cloth but this hot cloth um uh, the Lizarl one comes with its own muslin cloth and it's around the 20 euro mark so I'll leave links for all the products below but I've been loving this again you can use this to take off your makeup but I actually the same as the cleanser you apply it to your face rub it in and take off the makeup but I just like to use this to actually clean my skin so step one is taking off my makeup step two then I use this to actually clean my skin and by the way you apply this to your face dry work it in and then you use the muslin cloth with hot water 
um, and you can really feel, I really feel like it just gets into the pores, like the goodness of this is really high quality ingredients in this and once the hot water hits your skin with the product on it, I feel like you're working the product really into your skin and the steam is so good for your skin as well. So some people, again my sister was like, ew face cloth, so disgusting, they can be smelly, blah blah blah. Once you start using a face cloth again or a muslin cloth, you really do feel the difference in your skin and just like I use mine every day so I just put my muslin cloth on the radiator to dry every day and there's no problem. So that's what I use to actually clean my skin. Okay so because my skin has been dehydrated and dry I've been I've been on the search for a hydrating mask. There's so many masks out there for blemish and spot prone skin but there's not that many for hydration or dry, dry skin. So one I did come across is from Nukes. Nukes is a French skincare brand. I love their, a lot of their stuff. Um, again it's a bit more higher end. Um, so you will be paying kind of from 15, 20 upwards for the products, but they really are lovely. So if you do have an, an extra few bob to splurge on, Nukes is a lovely brand. This is the 24 hour soothing and rehydrating face mask. And like I said, this is for uh, adding moisture and hydration back into the skin. This was, 20, I think it was 21, 21 or 22. Again, I'll leave links below. Really, really, really nice. It smells quite... I always describe it as herbal, but it's, yeah, it smell to me it's like herbal, kind of something like you'd smell in a spa, so it kind of smells quite expensive. Um, it's just like a white cream, you apply it, it doesn't go hard, so with these moisture masks they, don't, masks, they don't go hard, they don't set. Sometimes when masks set, they tend to tighten up your skin and leave you feeling tight and dry. These don't, these stay moist on the skin and you can just wipe it off, wash it off. So yeah, that's the moisture mask I've been using. Then onto, okay. If you're going to buy any product that I mentioned today, you buy this next one. It is amazing. It's the Vichy Serum. It's the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Serum. Lads, oh my god. This is a wonder product. It's shot up right to the top of my holy grail products. It's amazing. Full price, this is 24 euro. It's a serum. You just need a pump or two. So you apply a serum before your moisturizer. And serum is actually a step that a lot of people, including myself, had left out until the last few years really I started using a serum. I never bothered before because I just felt like moisture is just what I needed. But now that I'm getting a, bit older, getting a bit older, I want to take care of my skin more and serum is that extra step to add more moisture and care to your skin. This is amazing stuff. If you had dry or dehydrated skin, try this lads. It is unreal. I can't say any more good things about it. It's just unreal. Whatever's in here, there's no um, thingy, there's no ingredients or anything on the back of this. I should have kept the box and stuff. But I'll list any information down below as well. I might do a blog post. You don't even need to know the ingredients. You don't even know what's in it. It is amazing. Please, please try this if your skin is dehydrated at the moment. It's unreal. Um, loads of stuff from the Aquali Thermal range are unreal. Speaking of same, um, the moisturiser I've been using is from the same line. I've mentioned this in Snapchat before. It's the Aquali Thermal Dynamic Hydration Light Cream. So this is my moisturiser that I apply, my day moisturiser. Um, this one I got in a set is in a tube. But also the same one comes in, I'm pretty sure they're actually the same. Now this one doesn't say dynamic, but I'm pretty sure they are the exact same products. Or oh, does say dynamic on the back, they're both the same, different packaging. So this is the one that you buy in the shop, it comes in a box, and this is the one I got in a set. I'm not sure if you can buy the squeezy tube individually or not, I haven't seen it. Which would be handier for people travelling, but anyway. There's the same, oh no, there's 50 mils of product in here, 40 mils in here. So if anyone knows if you can buy this individually, let me know because I'm interested. Sorry, I'm rambling. This moisturiser is amazing as well. Again, shot right to the top of my list for skincare recently. It's unreal. Smells beautifully fresh. Packaging is gorgeous, as you can see. Um, smells unreal. Makes my skin so soft. I mean, normally with moisturisers, I don't see much of a difference. It's kind of the face, the cleansers and the scrubs and stuff. I think I mentioned this before, that I would see a difference in my skin. Not really a moisturiser. This makes my skin so notably soft. It is gorgeous full price this was i think was it 24 for the jar i think it was around 24 euro um but watch out for offers on vichy because there's always um offers on three for two so definitely watch out for offers on real moisturizers love these moisturizers okay so for my nighttime moisturizer moisturizer i've been using a la roche posay one you're kind of seeing a trend here they're all kind of french skincare brand but french skincare is just unreal they have amazing high quality ingredients um, yeah, so that's what I've been using. They've just been working amazing for me. This is from Larch Posay. It's the Nutritic Intense um, In-Depth Nutri Reconstructing Cream. A um, bit of a mouthful. This is really, really nice too. I'm surprised how highly fragranced it is though. 
It smells kind of sweet, like like sweet, like sugary sweet, which I was really, really surprised at because it's, I think it is for sensitive skin. It's paraben free. Now it didn't affect me, it didn't um, aggravate my skin or anything, but I was just surprised at how um, fragranced it was. So if you are, if you are um, like sensitive to fragrance, maybe just patch test this first, but it hasn't caused me any trouble, so I'm not sure, but I just want to let you know it's fragranced. It smells lovely though. Um, yeah, so this is for dry to very dry skin. There's loads of scientific research got, got into this. Um, I use this at night time because I feel like it is a bit thicker. If I had to pick between this moisturiser and this moisturiser, I do prefer this one. But this does an amazing job because it's a bit thicker and it kind of re... It does something to your epidermis layers. I don't know if it adds extra layers or builds on your, your skin um, to reconstruct new layers of skin. So I like to use this at night time because I like to leave my skin work at night time which is what night time cream is meant to do and I feel like because this is a bit thicker I've been liking to use this. Okay, okay so they, those are the main products that I've been using on my skin to take off my makeup, to clean my face and to add moisture. Those are the main steps. Now I have a few more extra products that are just kind of extra little steps that I've been taking. Um, face sprays, these are nice to add just an immediate inject of moisture to your skin. Again, Vichy and La Roche-Posay, these both came in sets that I got over Christmas, but I always have some of these on the go. They're just so refreshing to spray. You can spray, spray them on um, your skin after washing it. If you feel like you wash your skin it still feels a bit tight, just spray a bit of this. You can spray it over your makeup as well. Oh, it's so refreshing and it comes out in a lovely fine mist. They're all kind of the same. Um, I get the... I haven't... I don't know if I've bought one of these full... I think I've only ever gotten them in sets. Because it's kind of strange having to pay for water, but these are thermal special waters with minerals and stuff like that. But it's just a nice extra step if your skin is feeling dry after washing it. Just spray it, give it a spritz and adds a little bit of um, moisture back into your okay, skin. Okay, another random one that I've been using, not, not so much now because it's been replaced by my... Where's it gone? It's been replaced by my serum, but this is another serum. It's actually from Aldi. I got this ages ago on the recommendation of um, Ashlyn from Beauty.ie. It's a hyaluronic gel serum. So you can see there the packaging is just a clear serum and has a little um, dropper thing. But this has hyaluronic acid in it and hyaluronic acid is amazing, an amazing ingredient for adding moisture back into the skin. skin. It sounds really scary, hyaluronic acid. It sounds like you would do the opposite, but it actually is amazing for injecting moisture to the skin. Again, the ingredients aren't on the back of this, so I'm not sure what percentage of hyaluronic is actually in this. Um, but it just feels really nice and smooth to apply to the face. So if this does come back into Aldi, have a look out because it's not dear, it's a nice cheapy one. And then another kind of random one, my eye, eye cream, I think I just want to throw this in here because it is important to keep your under eyes moisturised. I've been using the Vitamin E Ice Cube from The Body Shop. This is in my March favourites. I think I talk about it a bit more. I won't go on about it now. It's lovely. It's a little solid cube that you apply under your eyes. It feels so smoothing and cool and it's just fab. Lovely little Okay, and last two random bits are, this is from Jaya. This is the Sensitive Enzyme Peeling. It is kind of like a mask. It's a really odd one, so I'm not sure if you can see that properly. Um, I've done a blog post on this, so I'll link it below. But basically, this is an enzyme peeling mask, so you apply it. It's like a gel consistency. You apply it on your skin, and it's meant to... It doesn't actually peel physically off your... Like, it doesn't peel off like a mask. A lot of people think that's what these do. But when they say peeling, they mean to peel off dead cells. So that's what this is meant to do. You apply it, then it works in your skin, and when you take it off, it takes off all the dead cells. So you have a fresh layer to moisturise. Um... I'm not sure if it does an amazing job or not. I'm kind of on the fence of it, with it, but I've been using it because I've had flaky skin and I want to get rid of it. Um, so now it is cheap. It is, I think it's under a fiver, so, but I was sent this actually previously. Again, it's all in the blog post below, but it sounds like an amazing product. I'm not sure if it does the job it's meant to. So if anyone has any other enzyme peeling recommendations, please do let me know because I want something to work amazingly for me. I'm just not sure if this is doing it or not. Um, Last product is just a kind of extra step. I get so dry around my nose because I'm always sniffly and stuff. So around my nose and I kind of apply this to my eyebrows as well. It's the Dr. Lip Original Nip Nipple Balm for Lips. Okay, I'm not crazy. It is a nipple balm, but it's because it has lanolin in it, which is an amazing um, kind of acts as a barrier and, and moisturizes. Um, Dr. Lip is a cold beauty balm passed from nursing mothers to makeup artists. Helps soothe dry, cracked skin. Um, famous for its thick hypoallergenic ultra hydrating and counter irritant qualities. So this is one that I actually like to apply to my nose if my nose is dry. Like I said, um, I like to apply to my eyebrows because I get a bit randomly dry around here and use it as a lip balm. I got this in Space and K when I was in Dublin, so I'm not sure 
where else you can get that but that's where I got Okay that. and I forgot one more, one more thing that works for everyone and not a lot of people want to try it because it's just so annoying and I'm so sorry to have to say this but it's water. Lads, you have to drink water. And I'm so bad. I'm preaching and telling you you have to drink water. I'm so bad for it. I'm either really, really good for drinking water or else I'm absolutely a shocking and I don't drink it at all. So I have been back on the water drinking bandwagon and I'm trying to get my two litres a day. It's so hard to drink it. Like, to swallow two, two litres of water. <sighs> I don't know. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But hydrate from the inside out. I sound like a mother, but drink your water. Okay, and that's it for my current skincare routine. I'm sorry this video uh, seems a bit longer than usual, but I just had so many products to go through. But the wonder products for me are from the Vichy range, and basically it's the serum and the moisturizer. These are amazing. So anything really from the Aqualia Thermal range is just so amazing to me at the moment, and I really, really love them. Um, any recommendations, please do let me know, because I'm always in the hunt for new products. If you want me to try them out and review them, let me know. If you want a separate review on any of those, let me know as well. Um, hope it was helpful and I will see you in my next